Hey guys, it's Jason from IMG Filmworks. Welcome back to my garage in episode six of Building a Budget Beast, the vlog series where I walk you through what I did when I turbocharged my Honda Accord. In this episode, we're gonna talk about the missing link, what it is, why you need one, if there's a way around it, and uh, we're actually gonna install it in the car. Okay, so what is the missing link? The missing link is this piece right here. It's simply a check valve. Uh, this is a really nice check valve, basically, is what this is. And what you do is you have your MAP sensor or your manifold absolute pressure sensor here. And this sits in the car and your plug goes in and your ECU reads your uh, absolute manifold pressure uh, coming into your intake. And it knows how to calculate, you know, the values and everything for a normally aspirated car. Well, what happens when you turbocharge a car, if you didn't put something in between this sensor right here, the uh, ECU would read positive boost whenever you went into boost. It would not know how to figure out what that is, and it's going to throw a check engine light on your car for um, you know the value of the map sensor off the chart, and it is gonna severely limp your car home. Uh, it's, it's actually hard to drive when it does that. So the missing link is just this billet valve right here. And inside here, is a check valve. You can kind of see it, it's a little plastic valve and it'll move up and down and it will just simply move and then vent any excess pressure right through this uh, vent hole here. There's also a little uh, air filter that comes in that, that keeps everything uh, clean that'll go in there but I have it removed so you can see it. And so here's your regular MAP sensor and your MAP sensor is just installed on your throttle body with, of course, shorter screws than this, but it's installed like that. So what you do when you uh, install the missing link is you simply pull this out of the way and then you would install your missing link there on your throttle body. And then you would just install that right on top and they give you these extended screws and you would go right down into your throttle body again and then plug back up your connector and that's how easy it is and the way it works. Okay, so sometimes people ask, is there a way around the missing link? And yeah, sure there is. This is just a really fancy check valve. So a lot of people uh, can just, you know, they go to the pet store and they buy, you know, aquarium type check valves. And I, I think you have to have more than one. Um, I didn't go that route. So, uh, but it can be done. If you wanna, if you don't wanna spend the money on this, uh, these are about $50 from Synapse Engineering. And uh, if you don't wanna do that, you can uh, get a check valve and run it that way. So I've explained why you need one. And uh, the reason I chose the missing link is simply because it's a nice piece. It's very easy. It was designed by engineers to work correctly. And it does, it does its job very well. And I like simple, clean solutions to uh, issues like this. So that's why I chose the missing link. Okay, with that said, let's go ahead and get this installed on the car. All right, guys, that's it for episode six. I hope you enjoyed the video. And to all my subscribers, I wanted to say thanks again. We're heading towards 5,000, so remember the uh, t-shirt giveaway in the last video. Check that out if you, uh, there's still time. We haven't hit 5,000 yet. If you wanna get entered in that drawing for, uh, uh, we're gonna randomly choose a couple of people to get a really cool IMG Filmwork shirt. If you're not a subscriber yet, click the link above and become one. And until next time, I hope to see you guys right back here inside my garage.